But I wish we could help them and tell them to stop all this stuff about zodiac signs. Zodiac signs, that is actually demonic. God never gave the stars in the sky as a sign of how your life was going to go. The stars in your life, the stars in the sky were to light up the to, to light up the sky to be a sign for seasons. And we know that men use them for navigation, but they were never meant to tell you who you are and influence your life. Zodiac signs. Zodiac signs is actually a demon. A, a demon rules over each zodiac sign. So how they did it was that in the time of Babylonia, they carried on what these Nephilim taught the humans. So they took the sky and divided it up into 12 areas. With each area, they assigned a demon. So they gave it a name. And in Hebrew thought, name speaks of character and function. For instance, if you are a Capricorn, that's your demon that you are assigned to. His character Character, his function is actually your horoscope that's pretty much the function that's the character of that demon and that's the seal so zodiac sign is a sign it's a seal so you are marking yourself with this demon you are taking on you are giving legal access you are giving legal rights for Satan and his demonic hood rats to come into your life astrology originated in ancient Mesopotamia over 3,000 years ago. The Babylonians carefully observed the night sky and saw that the movements of planets and stars seemed to correlate with events on Earth. They divided the sky into 12 sections, corresponding to the 12 zodiac signs, to track planetary movements. The Babylonians analyzed celestial events in relation to kings and countries, which later evolved into personal horoscopes. Astrology spread to Egypt, ancient Greece, ancient India, and ancient China, integrating with local cultures and beliefs along the way. Key concepts like the 12 zodiac signs and reading the stars to predict. Events emerged during this early period and continue to be central to astrology today. Good rising, my lovely butterflies. This is the Awakened Butterfly, and I am back with another video. Welcome and welcome back. If this is your first time coming across the channel, please stay for the entire video or check out some of my existing content. If you enjoy the content, please don't hesitate to subscribe. I pray that you all are having a blessed and amazing day so far. I pray that everyone's continuing to take care of themselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. As you all know, I love you guys so much and all the support that you show me towards this channel is greatly appreciated. Guys, I have something very, very important that I would like to discuss with you all today. And as you can tell by the title of this video, um, this is New Age Spiritual Awareness Convo 6. And for all of my day one butterflies, you guys know that I usually do spiritual new age spiritual awareness segments where I talk about different forms of new age spirituality and why it is risky for anyone to be participating in that specific practice. And in today's conversation, we will be discussing astrology. And whether or not you, if you are communicating with demonic entities when you participate in this form of divination. I will also be discussing the dark origin of astrology and why you or anyone that you know should not be implementing this new age practice into your life. Now, a quick disclaimer, you shouldn't practice any form of new age for that matter. I just wanted to put that out there. However, astrology consists of various divinatory practices. So when it comes to astrology, you're not only just dealing with 
the concept of astrology itself. You're dealing with many things associated with it, such as horoscope readings, tarot card readings, psychic readings, things like that. And these forms of divination are also known as pseudoscience and has existed since the 18th century. The scientific theories that surrounds these forms of divination were based on the belief that real life human situations and terrestrial occurrences can be determined by studying the evident positions of specific objects in the celestial realm. Now these celestial objects are consisting of the planets, the moon, the stars, and the sun. Now this is not to be mistaken for the heavenly realm. This is the celestial realm. And the celestial realm is composed of seven spheres, which in appearance, they look like solid three-dimensional round shaped objects in which we all know these as the seven planets. Jupiter, Pluto, Mars, Saturn, Venus, Neptune, Uranus, and they also include planet Earth. So let's just say eight planets. Even though The, let's just, okay, guys, there are seven planets, but the reason why I included Earth is because Earth is surrounded by these planets. And each planet in the astrological world is said to represent different aspects of human personality. And guys, I'm not trying to bore you with the history of astrology, but I have to say all of these things to lead up to what I'm trying to explain as to how many people are deceived into participating in astrology without seeing the demonic activity that is taking place when you bring these type of things into your life. So... I want to get into how each planet is associated with a specific zodiac sign that is represented by significant symbols and meanings, such as the Aries being ruled by Mars, representing the ram, and the Taurus being ruled by Venus, things like that. Those are just some examples. Now, as we all know, the human mind always wants to be in the know. And in my opinion, I feel this is why divination practices such as horoscopes, tarot cards, and psychic readings are always so common in our society because people always want to be in the know about things that has occurred in their life from past, present, and future tense. But what if I told you that these zodiac signs are actually representing the personalities of the demonic forces that rule over them? Although getting a tarot card or psychic reading or even reading your horoscope may seem harmless, they actually open the doors of communication between humans and demonic forces. The Most High created the 12 months of the year in which we all have a birthday within those 12 months. Now, on the flip side, because as you all know, Satan always copies the Most High, but his intentions are always bad. Now, the Babylonians created the 12 zodiac signs. And each sign is represented by... A arch demon 
or you can also refer to them as the fallen angels. They are considered the most malignant forces in the infernal realm. The infernal realm is a meeting place for demons in the spiritual realm, for anyone who's wondering what the infernal realm is. And it's also a place where many wicked plots, plans, and spiritual attacks are being done against God's people. Now, these demonic forces are also the evil adversaries of um, the archangels. So when the archangels are going to war in the spiritual realm, these arch demons are who they go up against. The Babylonians invented the 12 zodiac signs during the beginning half of the first millennium before Christ. And they did this by dividing the stars into 12 locations based on the calculations and observations that they came across when they were studying the stars and where they should be positioned. Now, all of this was for a reason. And this is because the positioning of the stars in accordance to the observations and calculations that they made and recorded has a lot to do with the demonic personalities that they attached to these celestial objects that they were experimenting with such as the moon the stars the sun and in the bible the most high convicted the astrologers of babylon and placed them under judgment through isaiah and you can hear about this story in isaiah chapter 47 and he mentioned how he convicted the astrologers in verses 13 through 14 god totally forbids astrology guys deuteronomy chapter 4 verse 19 says beware you raise your eyes to heaven and when you see the sun and the moon and the stars all the hosts of heaven you be driven i'm sorry you be drawn away and bow down to them and serve them. Things that the Lord your God has allotted to all the people under the whole heaven. The arch demons of the Zodiac were discovered when King Solomon was given a ring by Archangel Michael. Now this supernatural ring was used to ward off a vampire demon by the name of Ornias. Now, this demonic entity tormented a young boy that was favored by Solomon. And he done this while the young boy was sleeping by taking majority of his pay and sucking the nourishment from his body through his right thumb. Solomon threw the ring at Ornias which stamped him and placed him under Solomon's control. And once he was under Solomon's control, Solomon ordered the demon to take the ring and return with the head demon, the head demonic force over all the legion of demons in the astrological realm. And this is Beelzebub, the Lord of Flies. And I'm going to be making a video, guys, talking about being monitored by specific animals and insects. So I know a lot of you may have moments where you feel monitored, but you may just see a bunch of flies around. And this is not a coincidence. You know you haven't left the window open. You know you haven't left the door open, but you see a bunch of random flies popping up, popping up in your home, you know, in random places where you are. 
So I'm going to make a video about that, guys. But um, Beelzebub, um, he's not only known as the Lord of Flies, but he's also known as Lucifer, um, fa the fallen angel of light, the light bearer. And 12 of the 72 arch demons that were summoned by Solomon each represent a zodiac sign. And the characteristics and personalities that are attached to these signs are of a zodiac demon that resides in the astrological realm. The Babylonians were polytheistic and they worshipped various sun gods and goddesses. Or should I say false sun gods and goddesses? Because let's be clear, there's only one God. And not only did they worship these sun gods and goddesses, but they also worshiped state deities. And many of these deities were solar deities, like the goddess Dahami, who was connected to the sun and the moon. All of these sun gods and goddesses and deities are connected to Bezebub, Lucifer, also known as the light bearer or the morning star. And he is also said to represent planet Venus. The moon is associated with, guys, I can't say her name, so I'm just going to post it here with an image of her because I don't want to say it wrong. But she is the female demon who is also a part of the 72 astrological um, demons summoned by Solomon. And she is also associated with witchcraft and magic. Now, guys, do you ever wonder how the daily horoscopes, the tarot card, and psychic readings are so accurate? Because, you know, I never thought about it before. I just... When I was into these type of things, I used to be so excited in receiving the message and, you know, seeing if it related to what I was going through that I never took the time to realize how these messages were so spot on about the affairs and events that occur in my life. And... The reason the individuals who participate in these forms of divination are so accurate and spot on with their readings and predictions are because they are summoning the arch demons from the demonic realm for enlightenment and information pertaining to human affairs and events from the past, present, and future tense. And when the doors are open to astrology, it gives the arch demons of the Zodiac the opportunity to tap into your life and monitor you from the physical and spiritual realm. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I mentioned in one of my, one of my previous videos, I'm really not sure uh, which one, but I was mentioning how when I was into new age and I would always listen to horoscope and tarot card readings online. I even used to read some of them from art online articles or newspapers, even magazines. I was always so interested in my horoscope. And it, you know, once I began doing this, when I was, okay, let's say I was still participating in new age. And then I began to tap more into following the most high. Once I did that, he started to reveal to me how evil New Age was. And I started to realize that once I began to pray to God more and I was still um, reading my horoscope, I began to realize, you know, he put it on my mind that the reason why I was feeling so paranoid and so anxious and nervous is because I was being monitored and watched. And that is how these demonic entities were so spot on with the things that was occurring in my life or was about to occur in my life. And that is because they're actually orchestrating these things in the spiritual realm. They're actually guiding your life from that point. A lot of the things that occur in your life, once you tap into new age spirituality were never even meant to happen. It all happened once you tapped into this, the demonic realm. 
your world changes depending on who you worship, who you spend your time with. And there's no in-between. We cannot serve two masters. We're either going to worship and praise God or worship and praise Satan, which I wouldn't advise anyone to do that. And many are deceived by new age and they feel that the most high is leading them to participate in these demonic practices practices because many people are honestly unaware of the demonic forces that are operating these spiritual practices. Um, I'm sure many of you have read your horoscope or witnessed a tarot card reading done on you or someone else. Have you ever wondered how the spirit that was communicating with the tarot card reader or psychic reader knew exactly what was going on in your life or how accurate horoscope readings really are? You know, even when you read them from a magazine, a newspaper article or an an online source. I want you guys to think about that. Like, have you ever wondered where the accuracy came from? When seeking answers from God, we have to go through a process. We must pray fast, you know, take the time to block out all distractions and listen for God's voice. There's a specific process when praying to the Most High. And I feel that this serves as a safety procedure that God puts you through so you will know the answers are from him. So you won't be deceived, you know, because when you're going to different psychics and tarot card readers and you're getting your horoscope read or you're watching um, horoscope rings online or, you know, whatever, it's like, how can you know that this message is from God? How do you actually know that this message is from God? Especially when no one's praying. You know, no one's calling out to the most high. People are shuffling cards. People are calling on spirit. They don't call on the Holy Spirit. They call on spirit while shuffling cards, while looking through a crystal ball, while adding up, you know, while using your birthday as a means of determining what's about to happen into your life and what type of mood you're going to be in for the day. You know, I don't know about you, but I've seen and I've witnessed this so much. So many people judge people based off of their horoscope. What is your sign? I'm an Aries. Oh, I don't like you because you all are known for doing this and you all are known for doing that. Or what is your sign? I'm a Libra. Oh, I love you guys because you guys are so balanced. You guys usually have it all figured out. You know, people are really basing demonic personalities and characteristics on human beings based on their birthday. And this was not orchestrated by the Most High. This was actually orchestrated by Lucifer by Lucifer, I'm sorry guys, in order to keep a tab on humanity. This is another one of his control tactics. And people are so deceived by how spot on these readings are. How spot on, you know, everything is that comes out of these people's mouth, how it aligns with their life. Not knowing that these people have casted, you know, spells in the spiritual realm to make certain things occur in your life. And once you begin to listen to these readings and follow the advice, you are now under the spell.
when it comes to horoscope, tarot card readings, you know, things like that, all you have to do is pay someone or turn on your television to get an answer. It's, it's not like the spiritual feeling of going to the most high and getting that confirmation from him. It's not the same. Don't you think it's suspicious that everyone who shares the birthday under the same month experience the same or similar situations or carry the same personality traits? There's a reason for that. And, you know, when the Babylonians rebelled against God, they were seeking and worshiping false sun gods and goddesses and other solar deities that were being led by Lucifer. Also, you know, also known as the ruler of Venus. So if Lucifer is ruling, is the ruler of a planet that is within the celestial realm, which is associated with astrology. And people are seeking astrology for answers. Then who do you suppose they are getting their answers from? It's most certainly not God. You know, and in the mocking of God, you know, out of mocking him, they created the 12 zodiac signs and attached a certain demonic entity to the 12 months of the year. These demons are not only rivals of the archangels, as I mentioned earlier, but they are also against humanity. In the story of Solomon, when he summoned these demonic entities and when he asked them they, their intentions, they all stated how, in their own way, how they were out to destroy humanity and to destroy the archangels who were trying to stop them from destroying humanity. There's a great animation story of the King of Solomon that I watched on YouTube and I'm going to leave the link in the description in the comment section below. I want you guys to check that animation out. It is very detailed. It's very educational. I love it. It's, it's so straight to the point to where you can understand what really took place at that time. And I love stories like that. You know, when I'm trying to learn something, I love things to be less confusing as possible, you know? And I'm pretty sure you guys do too. Especially when it comes to Bible stories, because sometimes it's hard to read the Bible. So, you know, there's nothing wrong with getting an easier um, translation uh, related Bible, guys. It's okay. As long as you're learning God's word. Um. Also, guys, the personality traits associated with the dates and months which are considered our birthdays. They are based on past, present, and future predictions that are presented to astrologers by arch demons that have connected, that have been connected to each month. And it's the demon's assignment to watch, monitor, and plan specific events in your life based on astrology and depending on the nature of these events, they will determine what types of behaviors and personality traits you will express. So if you're wondering how they know how you will be acting and feeling at that time, it's because they've already predicted it. And this brings me to talk a just a little bit about manifestation because I'm going to do a, a video um, coming soon about manifestation Manifestation is, is, it's dangerous. Anything that's not of God is dangerous. Manifestation is, to me, is, it's a spell. 
And it can also be a curse. And pertaining to this uh, topic that we're discussing today, when it, you know, in terms of manifestation, many of the things that occurred in your life when you tapped into new age, horoscope reading, tarot card reading, all these types of things, they were manifested in the infernal realm, the meeting place for demonic forces. This is their job to aim to destroy us. Yes, demons go out of their way to destroy us. That is their job. So if anyone's wondering, you mean to tell me <laughs> that the Babylonians slash astrologers were used and led? We, we, it's safe to say demon possessed at this time to create to use celestial objects which were created by God but not for means of witchcraft, rituals, and ceremonies to corrupt the earth which is what people are doing whether they are aware of it or not. You mean to tell me that you know, these Babylonians were used to open portals in the sky because that's exactly what they did when they were positioning these stars and these celestial objects into certain positions and they were making certain calculations and observations. They're doing nothing any different than what is going on with these scientists opening these demonic portals with the CERN project, with NASA going up into space, trying to open a black hole that will lead them to different dimensions. They're doing all of this trying to tap into demonic forces. They feel like Lucifer holds all of the light and knowledge. That is who they are seeking. Not knowing that it is all a big deception. It all starts with new age. Because what the enemy loves to do is to make things look harmless so you can tap into it. And once you do, the spell is casted. And once he has your mind, he can lead you into whatever direction that he wants you to lead to lead you in if you're not walking with God. If you're not praying to God, if you're not asking for a discernment, he can lead you into whatever direction that he wants to lead you in. And when he does these things, this is all to get you to follow him and his fallen angels instead of praying to God and seeking, you know, Yahweh for answers pertaining to your life, you know, seeking Yahweh for protection and guidance. All of these things that are occurring, that are occurring are distractions that are trying to lead you as farther away from God as they possible can. The astrological world is a totally different place from the heavenly realm. So I don't, I don't want anyone out there that are believers of God to ever think that it is okay to participate in any form of new age practice. I don't care if people told you that your ancestors did it. I don't care if people told you that it is a part of your culture and you must carry on the tradition. Maybe... This type of indoctrination is why a lot of our families are suffering from so many um, generational curses that are hard to break. And the chosen ones that were sent to break them, breaking them are having a hard time and they are facing a lot of heavy scrutiny and persecution. Because 
the more you feed a demon, the bigger it gets. The bigger it gets, the harder it is to ward it off, especially when you are not discerned to know that this demonic force is even around. So let's say, for instance, someone's feeding into all the BS about um, getting your horoscope read or meditating and, you know, all these forms of new age that is getting you closer to God, is spiritually elevating you. And you get to a point to where you start to see things changing in your life. You're not understanding why, but you're still listening to these meditations. You're still getting your horoscope read. You're still listening to tarot card readings. You're still wearing crystals. You know, you're still participating in all of these things because you think that this is a part of your spiritual awakening from God. Because someone has told you that participating in these practices will lead you to love, prosperity, abundance, spiritual elevation. Leading you to your purpose in life. Getting you connected to the universe. You know, I'm just going to be honest, guys. When people use the word universe, they should not be using it in the same sentence when referring to getting answers from God because it's totally different. He created the universe, but he's not going to use the universe He's as your guide. He's your guide. Now, he may show you confirmation through some things that takes place in the universe. But this is once you've went through the, as I call, safety procedure. The praying, the fasting, the no distraction, listening for his voice, you know, and instructions. Praying for discernment. He may show use the universe to show you some things through prophecy, through television, through songs. I always say these things. That's how I feel the most I use the universe after you've went through what I like to call the safety precaution. You know, we must pray before we do anything. And when you jump into seeking other people and other forms of spirituality for answers, you have to ask yourself, who was the source of this information? Who is the source of this enlightenment? You have to ask yourself, is this of the most high? Is this God talking through these people? When these people are calling on spirit, are they calling on the Holy Spirit? When people are performing rituals and they're trying to Connected to love, prosperity, abundance. You know, they're, they're bringing up all the positive things to try to throw your mind off of where this love, prosperity, and abundance is actually coming from. Where is it coming from? You know, what's going to happen after, the, after these, these things come to me? Because if you're not praying to God for what you want, You're praying to Lucifer for what you want. You're worshiping him and nothing's free from him. He's going to give you something in exchange of losing something else. So I want a lot of people to understand that when people participate in these forms of divination and other new age practices, just know that devil worship is taking place. When people are heavily participating in New Age, they are seeking guidance and enlightenment from Lucifer. And that's why the Most High pulled me away from it. I was deceived into New Age. I was, honestly. And the Most High showed me that it was very demonic. I started feeling eyes watching me. I started feeling very anxious, nervous. 
I even started to see dark shadows out the corners of my eyes. And now I don't see those things anymore. I don't feel the anxiousness, the nervousness anymore, or feel like someone's watching me anymore. You know, a lot of people that are monitored, gang stalked, and harassed are victims. And, and, I mean, and um, also people who are victims of witchcraft. A lot of these people participate in new age spirituality and some form of it. And they don't understand that that's where the monitoring and the gang stalking, seeing shadow figures, they don't understand that that's where these things are coming from because the enemy has deceived them into thinking that participating in these practices are getting them closer to God. Like they're really thinking this is a part of their awakening from the most high. Many are deceived. Many know that it's not from the most high, but they feel that there's other gods and goddesses out there that can guide us and lead us in the right direction. And I've also noticed that participating in these practices also has a lot of people feeling that they are their own gods and goddesses and that they determine their own destiny and will for their life. Guys, this is all deception. This is all deception. We're here to live out the most high's will for our life. Only he knows what's best for us. We don't even know what's best for us. You know how you tell your children, I know what's best for you. You know, it's, it's very important to listen to me as your parent or guardian. Well, that's how the Most High feels about us. We are his children. And he feels that we should listen and obey, and obey him because he knows what's best for us. He knows that there is an enemy out there that's seeking to steal, kill, and destroy us. And he does not want us falling into any of his schemes. And a lot of the times when we're so quick to do what we feel is best for us, we totally block out God's will. And sometimes we find ourselves in unfortunate situations. And that is what brought me to make this video today, guys. I'm, you know, the most high led me to shed light on horoscopes and astrology and all of these types of things because uh, many people are, I, I feel that um, out of new age spiritual practices, Astrology is one of the most popular um, forms of divination that our society is participating in, especially when referring to, you know, tarot card readings, horoscopes, psychic readings, Ouija boards, you know, just wanting to know the future, wanting to know things from their past, wanting to know things from their present, just wanting to be in the know. And not wanting to take the time to seek God for their answer. So, you know, it's opening the door for demons. And, you know, once they come through, they're only going to come back with more. So we have to really take the time to understand why a lot of dark things are happening in our society. Um, share this video, guys. Um Talk with some people that you may know that is participating in any form of new age and share this video with them, you know, um, continue to spread awareness because it's very important. I have another um, important video relating to this topic that I will be dropping very, very soon, probably in the next day or so. Well, actually it will be before then because I have a, I, the video I'm about to present to you guys, I actually have a due date on it because it's very important uh, in relation to this topic. So um, stay tuned and look out for that video very soon, um, guys. I love you guys so much. Continue to take care of yourselves mentally, physically, and spiritually. I really appreciate all the love and support. Uh, don't forget to turn on your no uh, post notifications so you can be notified every time I post a video. And until the next video, peace, love, and blessings. Mwah.